Hello friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today we're going to do primitive stencil decor with this cutting board and this tray that I have that I started to work on and it didn't come out right. But first we're going to work on this cutting board. So this is kind of a plastic coated it feels like and I wanted to get the slick surface kind of scuffed up a little so I'm using a little bit of sandpaper and I am just scuffing it up, taking some of the shininess out. Now this is folk art paint, it's mushroom and I, I'm loving this paint right now. So I ordered some more because I'm almost out and I can't get anything bigger than a two ounce bottle. So if anybody knows where I can get bigger than a two ounce bottle, because I even checked Plaid and their company and they didn't have it. So I have this stencil, it's on cardstock that I got years and years ago off the internet and I just uh, used my uh, X-Acto knife and cut out the pieces that I wanted to use as the stencil. So this is a willow tree, it says live simply and then it's got the crow holding the star over the eye on live. I'm going to take a little bit of black folk art paint and dry brush, just lightly do a dry brush coat on this stencil. So I'm going to do two coats of this and kind of let it dry for a second and then go back over it again. I try to do it like that instead of trying to do it all at once because it'll be really wet and it would spread underneath the paper and I don't want that paper to get too wet because then it will curl. So we just do a little bit at a time. Doing everything except for the little star that the crow is holding with black and I'm doing it lightly on the willow tree because I'm going to go back with burgundy and make it look kind of like pit berries are hanging off it. And I'm also going to um, do the the star in that burgundy so that it's just a little bit of a different color uh, and it's not all just black. So I'm doing the same thing with a tiny, tiny brush and just kind of tamping it in there. And there we go. Just doing it again. And then I'm going around the willow tree. Like I said, I went lightly with the black, so now I'm going to go lightly over it with the burgundy so that it makes it just pop a little bit more. And there we go. There it is. And now I'm taking my paintbrush that I had the black on and I wiped it down as much as I could and then I'm dry brushing the black over the top. Kind of going heavy around the edges, down at the bottom and the top. I will go around the whole thing or over the whole top of it, but I would like to uh, just keep the dark darker parts of it around the edges the best I can. So this is how I'm distressing it instead of sanding it back and going back down to the cutting board picture that was originally underneath. So now I've taken, I've already done it, I've taken some matte clear spray paint and sealed it in and I painted the back of it black and sealed that as well. So I bought some of this black twine I got. It's, it's kind of like the jute twine and I wanted to put that on this board. So I'm going to wrap it around just like I do the other jute. Just wrap it around a bunch of times. I think it'll pop really good on this board. It looks like it does. And I'm going around about five times on this top part and because I really want to be able to see it really well. And then I took about five pieces of string and I made a shoestring bow with it. And I'm just having it uh, Put right in the middle or off to the side a little bit of that where I wrapped that around the top. Then I'm going to also go around the bottom and do the same thing. I think I go around five times on this as well or several times anyway and I make sure it's crisscrossed and I just like that look on things when they're crisscrossed and just kind of randomly going in every direction and gluing that in and that part is done. Now I had a little um, star, rusty star that was on uh, some pit berries that I had so I just cut that off and I'm going to glue that in the middle of 
my uh, bow there. And that'll be it for this cute little primitive sign that I made. So this tray, I originally uh, had some kind of a design in there and I painted it and put the gather uh, stencil on top, but it when I sanded it back, it came back through that, that picture that was underneath, came back through and it doesn't look very good. So I decided to redo it. I'm going to still put the gather on there, but we're going to change it up just a little bit because again, I'm loving this the mushroom paint we're going to go back and use that. So I'm going over the whole thing. I did two coats with the black folk art paint because I want it to be covered really well. If you saw before, I did sand it down just a little bit. I couldn't remember if I had sealed it or not. I probably didn't because of knowing that came through, but I wanted to just make sure if it was shiny or anything, I wanted it to be able to stick. So I did two coats and now I'm going to place my gather stencil in the middle or somewhat in the middle if I can uh, get it straight. And I'm just going to tape that down so that as I am just uh, kind of tamping in with the paint on it that it doesn't move around on me. And then I just hold the edge. So this video is in collaboration for the stencil it up. Uh, collab. It is put on by CJ and the co-hosts are Krista and LaParsha and I will have their links to their channels down in the description below. There will also be a playlist of other creators that will be joining in this uh, collaboration so please go down and make sure you check out the playlist and all the other creative channels. So once I did the one coat on the stencil I hit it with the heat gun just for a second so that I could go in and get the second coat and then I hit it with the heat gun again to uh, before I took the stencil off so that it wouldn't smudge or anything like that and we're gonna oh yes and I did those I did those afterwards because I wasn't sure if I was going to do them a different color those little sprigs but I actually ended up doing it in the same color and I like it so this came out really good. I really like it. You can't see the design underneath like you could before. And so now I'm just taking a dry brush of the mushroom paint and I'm just distressing around the whole tray. I'm doing a little bit heavier around the edges and just going back and forth and just giving it some, I don't know, character and dimension. I think it looks nice. Then I'm taking my black uh, paintbrush that I had and I wiped that off a little bit and I'm just dry brushing black to distress the gather and the sprigs because I can't again take sandpaper to this because it will go back down to the original and I don't want that. So here's what it looks like. I really love the primitive look these both both of these signs have. I hope you like them as well. They will be on my Etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing and that'll be down in the description along with the playlist to this collaboration. Thank you for watching.